Hi everybody, welcome to Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters YouTube channel where we emphasize play-based learning, wellness and research-based solutions to issues in early childhood education. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, help us reach our next goal which is 700 at which point we're going to be doing a giveaway. Today's Educator Spotlight is on Booker T. Washington and here are some quotes. Success is to be made measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles which he has overcome. No race can prosper till it learns that there is as much dignity in tilling a field as in riding a pond. On April 5, 1856, in a hut in Franklin County, Virginia, Booker Talia Farrell Washington was born to a black mother, Jane, and a white father. Washington never knew or associated with his father, but his mother cooked for the owner of the plantation. Soon after the Civil War, as part of the slaves owned by James and Elizabeth Burroughs, Booker and his mother and siblings were freed. Jane, Washington's mother, relocated her family to Malden, West Virginia, where Washington could attend school only after working in a local salt factory from 4 to 9 a.m. every morning. At another job, Washington heard two co-workers talking about Hampton Institute. Hampton Institute was founded by Brigadier General Samuel Chapman in 1868 for former slaves. Chapman's major goal for founding the institute was to improve the access to educational opportunities for African Americans. The seed for education had been planted, and in 1872, Washington took a 500-mile walk to Hampton Institute. Washington was a great learner and performed exceptionally in his studies. Washington was so impressive in his performance that even after moving on to study at Wayland Seminary, Chapman invited him back in 1879 to teach at Hampton. Chapman also eventually referred Washington for a role as principal of the Tuskegee Normal and Industrial Institute, presently known as Tuskegee University. Washington was 25 in 1881 when he was employed at the Tuskegee Normal and Industrial Institute where he worked till he died in 1915. Washington is remembered as the most influential African-American speaker of his time.